why is time going by so fast? Crazy, right? Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I cannot believe that it's Christmas tomorrow. Like, oh my gosh, I feel like I say this, I've been saying this throughout the whole time each time I upload a video that I can't believe it's this time already. And to be honest, I really can't. Like, just yesterday, it was Valentine's Day and then it was my birthday, like not so long ago. So anyway, in the spirit of the new year, just around the corner, I thought I should just go ahead and start with my new year's resolutions now i hardly ever make any resolutions because i'm one of those people who will make them and then not stick to them and then I pretend like nothing ever happened but this time around i actually want to start committing because i i've realized with me whenever i speak things loud and i sort of write them down it's almost like i'm committing myself to do things so i thought i should just make this video and share it with you guys like i feel like you guys are like my closest friends even though i i've never met some of you guys personally but you guys are like my friends and i want to share this with you guys and also i want to be able to look back on this video on this day next year and say did i do it or did i not do it and sort of like have something to look back on because to be honest i was trying to actually remember the highlights of my year like what big thing happened for me this year what big thing did i do for myself this year and what major thing like what am i most proud of um that i achieved this year and i could barely think of anything because i've been so consumed with being the best possible mother that i can possibly be and making sure that my k bear has got everything she needs and that i have everything i need for work and that like just everything is on point it's almost like i was like just leaving one day at a time and I don't want to do that anymore I want to like plan ahead I want to have a vision I want to have a goal like something to look forward to something to work towards and all these things that I'm gonna be telling you guys just now are things that I've that I've had in the back of my mind that I've always known I have to do that I've always known I want to do it's more wanting to do them than having to do them because the minute I have to do something I feel like I'm more obliged to do it and it's not necessarily something I want to do so these are all the things that I want to do in the new year and bear in mind they might not all happen but I'm gonna be trying my best to make them happen um, I'm gonna be working towards achieving my goals rather than just getting through the year i feel like part of the reason why this year went by so fast is because i had nothing to look forward to i was working towards nothing i was just it was just i think i was thrown off balance because we had the car accident and then we had to move out of our house and then we had to like come here and then we we're trying to settle here and we didn't like it all that much but we had to like adjust it took had some time for us to adjust to this new place and finally when we were adjusting then Dizzy had to move out because then we didn't have tenants in our house it's been just one thing after another like I say it was mostly disaster recovery as well as living one day at a time but priority this whole year has been catered and for that I'm super proud of myself I I even want to call that a highlight of my year because Kaber has been doing amazing she had her milestones way before time she's doing fantastic and she's like the happiest little Gooba ever and no I'm not being biased I don't just get feedback from me being her mother I get feedback from her teachers at school I get feedback from just random strangers that we don't even know and I feel proud and for that I'm gonna say that's my highlight because then I feel like I just wasted a whole year but anyway now that that is set and done I'm gonna go ahead and dive into uh, my resolutions for 2016 now people always come up with like interesting things to say 20 fit me for 2015 and 20 for me 2014 I have no idea what they're gonna come up with for 2016 to be honest I'm not that creative so I cannot try and make up one right now so I'm just gonna call it 2016 like it should be called right so anyway um, the first big thing that I want to do for 2016 in 2016 is to buy a car now I'm terrified of driving I've talked about this probably like a billion times I I freak out every time I want I have to drive I can't say I'm having panic attacks because that's a bit more extreme like but 
I always I have this tendency of thinking of worst case scenarios and that just freaks me out like even when we had the car accident it's exactly it's sort of like validated my my freak out Asian if that makes sense um, when we had the car accident because we were doing everything perfectly fine and then some guy from Norway just drove into us which is exactly my biggest fear like I always fear that I would be driving with K-Bear and somebody would drive into us and God forbid something bad happens and for that reason I've always postponed buying a car I can very well afford to buy a car I can very well like I can I can afford to buy a car tomorrow but I don't want to buy a car tomorrow I want to I'm gonna put it as my resolution for 2016 because I first want to work through my fear and sort of work through my problems that I have with driving before I'm able to do so because I don't want to put my little girl at risk I don't want to put my boyfriend at risk of me going and buying a car like that and then next thing I like something horrible happens like worst case scenario and also I don't want to buy a car and end up having it just sit and me not driving it I want to buy a car to drive it so I'm kind of getting the gist of it right now I'm driving my boyfriend's car every time and again I still freak out but I try to keep it as normal as I possibly can I pray as hard as I possibly can and I hope that's gonna work out the next thing that I want to do is to go to church more often and I know we have been trying like the church we go to it's a bit far from where we live right now but I want to go to church more often we tried the other week and KB freaked out because she's not used to going to church and for me that was like the highlight of it all that made me want to go to church even more I know they have like Bible study at school and we pray at home and we read the Bible at home but at some point she has to know there's a place called church and people go there to worship God and all of that stuff and this is probably a controversial thing but that's just one of my resolutions the other one I want to do which is crazy is to conduct a healthier lifestyle now I've been going crazy I drink sodas I eat chocolates I eat sweets I like wake up at midnight to just go grab a bite of sweets it's crazy I know it doesn't affect my weight all that much like I've never been the person who gets affected by who gains weight from eating junk food but I just want to lead a healthier lifestyle I have a little goober and probably will be getting more in the near future and I feel like I need to be healthy for them I need to live to see them achieve their goals in life and for me to do that I have to commit to something and that is why I'm keeping this as my resolution the other one that I want to do is I need to start working on my project now I've had this huge idea in my head for the longest time and I'm sorry I'm not going to be given details but starting next year I have to make it work I no, I have to make it possible I have to see through it because I feel like I've been procrastinating for way too long and for absolutely no reason so I'm gonna get my back into it and start working on that I will share that with you guys as soon as I'm up and running on that project because I don't want to like sort of share it before it's life but yeah that's another thing that I have to do and those are all like my personal resolutions in my personal life and then with regards to my work resolutions for 2016 now I don't know if you guys know but I work as a process engineer for a telecoms company here in South Africa and it's a pretty huge company I just I don't feel comfortable sharing it yet because you know just for security reasons let's just not mention the company but it's for a telecoms company and uh, I feel like I also need to make resolutions for that because sometimes I feel like in a job if you don't have a goal that you're working towards it's pretty much like like personal life you sort of like live one day at a time and before you know it you're 35 and you're like what is going on what did I do with my life I don't want to end up in that situation I'm only 25 years old and I freak out about turning 30 so I'm setting up all these um, goals for myself before I turn 30 because then I feel I'll be more content turning 30 I'll be I'll know I've done something with my life I've done something with my 20s and I can focus on my 30s and as such look forward to turning 40 hella crazy but yeah this girl is aging fast but anyway the one thing that I want to do next year is as much as I like working for the company that I'm working for I really need a change it's the, it doesn't provide that much growth the position I'm in as a process engineer is awesome but there's no potential growth for it apart from being a process engineer the next thing you can be is be a manager and I'm not very comfortable being a manager in the current um, 
company because it's sort of like even though the title sounds like it's a Korea progression move you actually going backwards in a way so I don't want to do that so I need to get a new job in a different company and I'm hoping to get that done by 2016 I've had a couple of interviews recently for new jobs in different companies and I had to turn them down pretty much all of them because the office went good and some were being unreasonable and I was like you know what I'm not gonna compromise myself because then it makes me come across as desperate and I'm not desperate for a job so I can very well wait in my current position while looking for new jobs and then the other thing that I want to do is to acquire a certification for Six Sigma I want to get my belt going um, so far I have done my um, Six Sigma online, I have like online certification, but I need like a proper sit down in a classroom simulation where you're able to like go back into my um, work industry, into the company and actually do the actual work so that I can get the physical certification and say, this is what I did, this is what makes me proud. And then the last big thing that I really, really want to do and it's like way over my head, but I'm pretty excited, is I need to do my either MBA or Masters in of Philosophy. Uh, now, the thing, the reason why I'm saying either or is I'm not very convinced about doing an MBA uh, because MBA these days is turning to be just another degree and I feel like doing an MBA is going to be a waste of time because it's like they don't have anything specific that you want to focus on and I feel like doing an MBA for me is not going to benefit me in either way right now but when I'm like 30 or 40 and I've been in the industry for a longer period of time then I can do my MBA and it's actually going to work for me but right now I'm more on the masses of philosophy fans because that is more aligned with what I want to do and it's pretty exciting stuff just thinking about it makes me get makes me so excited so that's what I want to do and age-wise I qualify the university that I want to enroll with for my masters of philosophy or MBA needed me to be 25 years old 25 years old or older for me to enroll and I was like okay I'm clearly still a child which I I, I noticed because we had a meeting earlier this year and uh, at that meeting I was like the youngest of them all and they all looked at me funny like are you sure you're supposed to be here and I was like yes I got an invite I'm supposed to be here they asked me like three to four times and I was like seriously you guys I'm supposed to be here <laughs> but anyway those are my resolutions for 2016 now bear in mind like I said some of them are not gonna happen in 2016 but I'm gonna be using the next year as a foundation for me to get all the resources funding should I need funding um, to get my applications I uh, submitted through and to get everything sort of laid down so that I can be able to acquire everything I need beginning of 2017 um, guys like I said don't hold me to this I'm just making this video so that I can have something that I can sort of look back on in the next year and see if I did achieve my goals so anyway that's gonna wrap it up for this video today my phone is actually ringing <laughs> So that's gonna wrap it up for today and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Please do go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you did. Click subscribe if you're new to my channel. Now, if you have been watching for long but haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead, check us out on our social media pages, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Links are all down below. I hope you guys are gonna have a fantastic Christmas and a very, very merry and happy new year. And until then, I will catch you guys later. Bye guys.